general manager of the project. Um, she heads up uh, things like partnerships, marketing, um, sales interactions, and everything else. Anything that's going to drive us traffic. Yeah. And we have Josh. Do you want to yeah, and we have uh, Josh Webb here, who's uh, come on. He sort of heads up our production side of things. Um, so he's very keen to talk to a lot of you guys about some solutions and some uh, alternative, uh, some alternatives to what we've already got um, on the side at the moment. So from the editorial side of things, um, this is a very demanding project. You know, as Kim mentioned uh, to someone else, sorry, um, we're looking to update the site with a lot of frequency. You know, we're talking to each city be updated around you know at least five maybe ten times a day um, that's a lot of content that's happening and the reason we're doing that is because we want this to become more than just sort of uh, a destination site when I'm thinking of going to Hong Kong or Bangkok I'm going to sort of hunt around for some stuff we want this to actually be a daily visit site particularly aimed at the people that live in that in that area that want to know more about what's going on what to do, what other people are saying, what you know, blogger X is talking about, blogger Y, or anything like that. So there's more to it than just the, here's where to go and spend your hard-earned money at Aqua Bar or somewhere like that. Um, because you can read that everywhere else, you've probably already read it and you're sick of reading it. So we're trying to give a different twist to things, provide that essential information, to do it in a fun way, and also to um, but go a little bit deeper than that to actually really uncover what makes a place tick and all, all, the, all the characters that make it up. Because we think that um, you know Lonely Planet and Time Out do a great job with all these sorts of things, but what we really want to do is make sure that we can provide in one spot all the things you need to enhance your experience about a place. Um, so that's where the editorial side comes in, and we're just trying to continually find um, stories and different angles on things. And um, lost my train of thought now. Different angles of things and uh, different different <laughs> elements of, of content that we can actually uh, bring to the site and bring you up and get you guys coming and look at the site every single day. So that's the editorial side of things. On the other side of things, partnerships, applications, and uh, maps and mobile apps and all that sort of stuff. Um, we've been in such a rush to get this up. Um, we've already identified several areas that we're not particularly happy with. Um, Josh is um, on board to sort of help us uh, get the right sort of stuff, develop the right sort of applications or software or parts of Drupal that we haven't been able to, to get too involved with yet. Um, so part of this conversation, I'd love to sort of devote to some potential uh, collaborations, partnerships. Um, What's the challenge that we're having with you? Um, we need to restart it. Four times a month. <laughs> Five times a How day. many of you are updating your blog daily? How many of you are updating your blog once a week? <laughs> and how about once a month? <laughs> so I'll let you know right there is one of the challenges we're having uh, because this product is very much targeted towards uh, you know people in the city and the community and us exposing what's really going on. And uh, the sort of blogger obsession is just starting to take off here in Asia. And in Singapore, when it comes to food, they're like mad fire. That's all they do is blog all day long about what they eat. I don't know how the people there are not huge, but they're not. But when it comes to, there are a lot of people here that are doing really creative things. And, um, and we're hearing about it, and we're going to be shining a spotlight on it. And we hope with the frequency of which we're telling people about what you're doing, we're going to be inspiring people to be telling people more often what they're doing so that we can, uh, Andrew, uh, uh, snowboard. As you can see, there was a little bit of uh, snow interaction. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually yeah. am traveling now, I'm not just standing still. So. Yeah, I think, I think uh, as he's just loading, the things that are most exciting for us about this project are the frequency of how often we're updating. And, and through all of the sites, uh, you know, still based on this domain of cnngo.com, 60 to 70 times a day total that we'll be updating the site. There's nobody in the region that's updating with that kind of frequency. And so what we're really curious to find out is, is that, does anyone care? Like, is anyone that curious about what's happening in their cities? Is anyone, and it's, it's more than here's where to go eat and here's where to drink, but it's really like, who, who really has the finger on the pulse in the city when it comes to creativity and art and product development and, and all of those kinds of things. And so we're, we're, that's what we're really hoping that this product does is, and 
people and you know I'm obviously American you can hear it in my <laughs> voice and but you know coming from New York City here and New Yorkers and Americans and everyone always very much curious about what's happening in Asia all these trends coming and I what's awesome about this product is that we will be really helping surface writers, artists, uh, developers, I mean anyone who's smart in doing something interesting, humanitarians in the region, and this is really a product that's for this area, but because we are CNN, and because CNN International and CNN Domestic will be uh, tapping into our content, the opportunities for exposure on a global level are tremendous. And so we hope that you know a lot of engagement from people who who are looking for that kind of exposure, who are ready for that kind of exposure. And um, we've just opened it up for internal testing and to this international team, they've been really excited about the content that we have so, so far. And a lot of what we're doing is kind of cultural voyeurism. I mean, it's like, you know, what's really, you know, kind of going on? And, and uh, but we're doing it with a tone and voice that's as if it's, it's really about it's from the inside out versus the outside in. There's often you know, some criticism about CNN that it's as if it's the world through America's eyes. And what we're really ambitiously doing with this product is showing these cities and this culture, this lifestyle from the eyes and the perspective of the people who live in it. And uh, people that I've shown the site to, they're always like, wow, it's really local. And it won't be uncommon for us to be pointing to other uh, sites in a city that are in local language. So we'll easily reblog a story and if you click a link and you click over you'll go to a local language site. And that sort of blending of worlds is what we're really trying to do as well. Um, Keep <laughs> <laughs> it's like wow you have to do a lot there. You might as well rebuild your computer. Uh, <laughs> So uh, it's a match. And uh, so just to, uh, we're launching, we're launching with, as mentioned, Hong Kong, Shanghai, Tokyo, Singapore, Mumbai, and Bangkok. And every one of those cities is really different um, challenges when it comes to us working with partners. And 